Thomas, I'm project coordinator, program coordinator. Get the job title right. <laughs> Patakanche, which is about an hour's drive drive by car up from Oriente Tambo, which is where SVP is. But um, a lot of the girls there can't afford the um, can't afford transportation, so we're going to walk as if as if one of them would go to school. The girls that study in SVP um, live in. Uh, how much would it take to go from the community to the school? So we're going to film every step of the way so that you can come along with us and experience the whole journey alongside yeah. Laugh. We hope we... you enjoyed this sunny day with the Andes Mountains. Yeah. years old this August, which is one of the reasons why we're doing this hike. Yay! Happy birthday, Laugh. Happy birthday, Laugh. So this past year, uh, the number of beneficiaries we supported are 111 overall. So thanks to all your help and support, we can keep helping more kids here in Cusco. Yeah, and as you know, we work with local partners, which means that we really care about sustainability in the sense that we work in finding ways of how our partners can do provide better services to the children and young people. Uh, one of those partners is Sacred Valley Project and that's why we're here. Specifically, um, Sacred Valley has two dorms in the Sacred Valley region. Basically, one of the dorms is in Ollantaytambo town, but around Ollantaytambo there are many, many communities in the Andes, isolated communities in areas like this, for instance. Um, so children normally have access to primary school but they do not have access to secondary school, especially women, young girls. So SVP was born in 2009 to be able to provide that service. And how? By building a dorm in Ollantaytambo so the girls can stay there from Monday to Friday. And then during the weekends, they can go back to their communities. Trucks only pass by like every day, only one truck, which means that it's really hard to get here. And if you want to go to school from Monday to Friday, that would mean that you would have to walk because it's not like it's easy access either. So that's why SVP exists and that's why we support SVP. We've been supporting SVP since 2010 and uh, we hope that this partnership continues. So this is a happy birthday to Laugh, but it's also happy birthday to SVP and to all the partners that we work with.
little bit intimidating, not gonna lie. Baby, if I got you, baby, if I got you, I don't need a parachute. You're gonna catch me. You're gonna catch if I fall. Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Well, we just made it to what's the highest point of our hike at the moment. Uh, we climbed the mountain that we were supposed to climb, right? Yeah. We did. So when you don't, you're not sure about exactly what path you're supposed to be taking, how long it will take, you kind of need to sit down and rethink. <laughs> so that's yeah. what we did, didn't we? <laughs> we did. So guys, what's the new plan? We got to the top, we did a bit of reconnaissance and realised that it's just not doable in a day. So the new plan is we're going to go back down to Patacancha. Yeah. 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 Patacancha, and then yeah. we're going to walk through the main road where the buses and cars usually go. And we'll try to show you, like, is it easy actually to walk down that road? It's been around four hours already of walking uphill. We wanted to show you a little bit the view because it is a wonderful view. It is absolutely country. stunning. But we've yeah. had fun and the thing Spirits is not over high. yet. Spirits are high, yeah. Spirits so are high. So we're, we're still gonna we're still lunch. gonna make our way yeah. down to Oyentai Tambo. Uh, that's still the plan. Okay. <laughs> Hello, we're back and we are finally found the road and we're beginning the journey down to Oyentai Tambo. Um, so yes, um, we're just leaving Patakanchin now. Here's the sun. Here you can see the sun. I'm so yeah. So this is our 12th year as LAF and we are currently working on our third strategic plan. Yeah, so we're really focusing this, this strategic plan on quality education rather than just education itself. We want to work a lot on capacity building with our partners as well. So ensuring that they have capacity to become sustainable and eventually independent as well. That's, that's the vision that's for the LAF. Goal, yes. We've reviewed all our mission statements and our vision all our program objectives and to make sure that we are doing the best we can for our partners and that it's as relevant as possible to our partners as well. Yeah. What they need while providing guidance to grow laugh. Exciting times. Exciting times. <laughs> Thank you.
So our long-term supporters will know that we have four projects here in uh, Cusco that we support. SVP, uh, who are located in Oriente, Dambo and Calca and offer dormitories for girls to go to school. We also have... Moscoy. That's um, a women's cooperative which works with uh, women in the Sacred Valley um, to create artisanal products and stuff like that so they can sell it on the market and create some uh, income for themselves. We also support... Asawasi, which is... Asawasi is a home for boys who have experienced abuse, neglect, or have lost their parents. Um, so we've been working with Asawasi since we first began 12 years ago. Um, we're the same age, so we celebrate the same anniversary. So happy birthday to Asawasi as well. Our fourth and final partner is... Casa Montai, which is... It's a home for girls who've experienced, <laughs> again, abuse um, or neglect by their families uh, because of... Um, having uh, a child at a young age and we also support their children um, to have a, a safe environment to grow up in and so that the girls can get the education they need. There are four partners we support in Cusco um, all the money that's donated to LAF will go towards our projects so we, we really appreciate anything that can be donated because it goes to help vulnerable kids here in, here in Cusco. Hello from Oyente Tambo. We Hello. finally made it. What time is it, guys? It's it is six, now six, six o'clock. Five fifty-five. Five fifty-five. So we've been awake for thirteen hours. Yes, Five a.m. And walking for far too many to count. We know so we, we walked. walked 45,000 steps, which is equivalent to 32 kilometers. Yeah. Yes, that's so which did. means we're a bit tired. Our legs, our <laughs> legs are feeling it. But we're here. We're back in Oyente Tambo beautiful sunset and yeah we're we're just chuffed for everyone for watching this thank you for supporting us thank yeah you so and much. we hope that with this video you could take a little sneak peek into our lives here the lives of all the children and young people that we support thanks to you and it is tough basically yeah. like it imagine doing tough. this walk just to get to board. school actually focus on school and then go back so yeah, yeah. and um, we just were really motivated to keep working and yeah. supporting them. So yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Well, pick me up with golden hand. Oh, let's sail. Oh, let's tell you to run. All the way. All the way. And nobody see, nobody on. Send me on my way. 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 Send
Yeah.